Hello again. Today we're going to talk about Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio is a newer product from Microsoft that is designed for SQL Server, but with an emphasis more on SQL developers as opposed to SQL DBAs. When I was at SQL Pass Summit a few weeks ago, there were several sessions on this and I was quite intrigued and have spent a little bit of time with it and would like to share some of the benefits that uh, you would have if you choose to use Azure Data Studio. So let me go ahead and open that up. So Azure Data Studio can be used, of course, with SQL Server, but it also supports Postgres. And my understanding would, uh, is more databases to be named later. Azure Data Studio also is open source. The core source is actually Visual Studio Code and as a product developed on Visual Studio Code is uh, Azure Data Studio. Uh, it is also cross-platform. So unlike Management Studio, uh, it works on Windows OS, Mac OS, as well as Linux uh, operating system. So all the things that you develop as a part of this product, and we'll get into the extensions in just a bit, would also ideally be cross-platform. Of course, that depends on how the extensions are built, but it was Azure Data Studio was designed in order to let you, the developer, add meaningful capabilities to it. There are two broad categories for doing this. Snippets, which are, of course, uh, nothing more than code, but it's an enhanced way to save and reuse code and extensions, which can go well beyond snippets to include forms, and, and other capabilities. So very quickly, we can uh, look at the designer. And within the designer, probably the first thing you might notice is you have ways to group the servers together. So Snap is a server group. They just happen to be servers and or databases on this server. I've got another group for uh, our Azure repositories and then yet a, another group for our, our local network. In addition, you can define snippets. And so the, uh, the, the snippets are created as you edit a query. So for example, I'm in the query editor here and I would like to reference a snippet. Well, instead of going to a file and folder and opening it as you do with Management Studio, which you can do here, but you can store these as snippets. And so uh, SQL is a common way to start to find a snippet and then you can see all of the snippets that are in fact already written for SQL Server code. So for example, let's say you wanted to create a cursor and the basic lines of code for cursor, it's about 10 or 12 lines that you might have to type over and over again or refer to some other code segment that you had in, in another query. But here I can just type in SQL uh, cursor, click on that and it pops up a template for the SQL cursor. But beyond the template, you'll also notice that you have highlighted areas which are for parameters. You, you essentially are prompted, you can tab through and substitute the value that is there for the value that you would like. So if I wanted this to be a, a cursor over the, the table, you know, call it uh, connections, I could just type that in and it has also updated other placeholders for that one particular parameter automatically. So it, you, it's not only parameter driven, but you can have the same parameter reused within the query. You can easily write your own snippets. These are all uh, snippets that come with Azure Data Studio. But to create your own snippets, you would simply go to view command palette, type in snippet, and you'll see an option will appear preferences, configure user snippets. I've already created one and you can add snippets for a variety of languages. This is just for SQL. So I'll select that and you'll see a JSON file that has opened up. This JSON file gives you the ability to set the name the prefix, which is how you search, as you saw a minute ago, I just typed in SQL. The actual query itself, 
Um, this is going to be an alter database to set auto close. And you can take a closer look at the parameters. Essentially, dollar sign one is the first parameter, and you can see that it's looking for a database name. This will be to alter database. The next one's a little more interesting. It's the second uh, parameter in an ordinal sense, but with the vertical bars, it gives you the ability to drop down and select from a list. So not only do you have the code snippet that pops up for you and you can tab through the, the various parameter settings, you can even get a drop down for what parameter settings uh, are meaningful. So this is a custom snippet and just by editing this JSON file that we loaded. To see how that works, uh, remember the prefix name. It's highly intuitive when you would go to find this, the snippet. I know it's got something to do with auto close. So I can just type A-U-T-O and that really is enough to pop up this command, which is I label it SQL underscore set auto close to differentiate it from this, all the standard snippets. But when I select that, you can see that now it pops up and it asks for the database name. And so I'll type in uh, admin for the name of the database. I'll hit tab and notice now it, it, the parameter gives me a dropdown of on or off. So I'll choose a on and I've got a query or, or a statement I can run. And so that's just a quick review or uh, example of how you can use snippets. I think you'll find that this can be very valuable if you take the time to create these snippets so you can easily refer to them uh, using IntelliSense directly in the, the SQL editor. Another very nice component to Azure Data Studio are the extensions. If I click on this lower icon, uh, you can see the ones that I have enabled. I'd like to draw uh, your attention to SQL Server Schema Compare. This is uh, a feature that often people will spend money for through a third party, but it's, it is now free when you use Azure Data Studio, and you can pick any two schemas and compare them. It could be on-prem or, or in the cloud. The way that that would work, and here's a sample that I, I did earlier, but you go back into your command palette, and you want to do uh, SQL compare, so you just type in uh, our schema. Compare, it'll pop up, and then you'll get a form that's integrated directly in Azure Data Studio asking for source to target. And so you give it the name of the database that you're interested in. So we'll go ahead and use the admin database, and then we'll compare that to a version two. You click OK, and now you can uh, choose this option to compare. After it's done comparing, you can save it and, and rerun the comparison. Here are the actual results that I, I did earlier. You can see that there's a table that's in one and not the other. You can synchronize that either by creating one or deleting it from the other. So these are a couple of the highlights of Azure Data Studio. Snippets and extensions, I think very much worth your while, especially if you're a SQL Server developer. The support for IntelliSense and integration and extensions, code snippets, a very compelling reason uh, to take advantage of this. There's lots more features. We'll talk about that uh, in an upcoming session. Thanks for listening.